The last time they did this, it, it didn't go anywhere. Isn't that true? That's correct. It didn't, and they're still tied up in the courts. But I think this is a real effort to just put all the legal battles behind them. It's a distraction for both companies. They're spending a lot of money that could be going into R&D and products. So I think the hope is, let's get this behind us completely in 2014, and let's focus on our own products. And hopefully that's what comes is out of it. Is that really possible, though? It is possible. A lot of bad but, blood there. It, it, there is a lot of bad blood. But if both parties really have to come to the table with a solution in mind, and hopefully they'll do that, and it would be great to not hear about you know, them being t tied up anymore in, in, in courts and really just focus on what's coming next from each company. Let them fight it out, you know, actually in the public. In the you talk to either of these companies, as I have, and they both say exactly what you're saying. They'd rather not be doing this. Right. They've wound up in this position. Cook has gone on the record saying, I hate litigation. Hate yes. it. Hate it. Hate it. And, and Samsung feels the same way. Right. Um, there are a lot of law firms, however, who I'm sure are very happy that this that's is right. continuing. That's right. And they've been making a ton of money on it. And there are a lot of, that's exactly right. There are a lot of people that would like to see it happen. My prediction is it's going to end this year and it's gonna, we're going to stop hearing about it. You know, in Licensing agreements will be worked out. Licensing Everything agreements. Will sort of... Samsung will say, okay, we admit it. We copied the iPhone early on. We're not going to do it anymore. Yeah. Let's just let's start with a clean slate. Okay, so let's talk a little, about, a, bit, a little bit about CES. Both of you guys were at CES last week, saw a lot of interesting stuff. Still Still wondering how impactful it's going to be, but right. Samsung came out with the connected home. You went inside of a, a, a well -connected a different home. connected home, but yeah, connected home definitely a big trend this year. And right. It, it, it leads me to wonder what Apple is doing right now. So they're not really doing anything in the connected home. There's no evidence that they really care about it. And it's interesting because with Google's acquisition of Nest, Google cares a lot about it. You know, Nest is out in front in terms of making the home connected through the thermostat and through the smoke detector. There are a lot of other companies that are moving in. Qualcomm actually had a great exhibit at CES where they showed the way that they are seeing devices and appliances connecting in the future. They're actually doing a new gateway that, that's going to monitor your internet traffic in your home and divert bandwidth where, you know, where it's needed. But uh, Apple doesn't seem to care about this market right now, and that's, it's, it's surprising to some people. There is one way in which Apple is connected to the smart home market. The apps. It, it all comes through this. That's true. That's okay. true. So if you have these new services, and they all tie back into a smartphone, right. Apple's hoping that when you think of a smartphone, you might think of theirs. Besides whatever else they might have in their skunk works. But does right. it matter if Apple is missing this boat? Because the home, I mean, it's, that's the fabric of, of everything. So the, it's important because, well, the, the perception is, is that Apple's behind in this regard because they're not outwardly trying to buy any pieces of the puzzle for the smart home. But to your point, they do have the app. And I think that if we do see a television from them in the next 24 months, that could be a way that they get into the smart home, you know, the smart home business. But they're certainly not going after these connected appliances. And you think the television is going to happen this year? I do. You, you know, do? Whether, whether it's this year, I actually, there's no evidence yet in the supply chain. There actually is some evidence in the supply chain that we could see a smart wash or some kind of a wearable this calendar year, but I don't think there's, there's no evidence in the supply chain that we're going to see a TV this year. Don't you think, Brian, a little bit that the TV industry, the panel making and construct, like, that's a kind of lousy business to be in. It's not a great business to be in, but right now we're at, the, we're at the very beginning of seeing an upgrade cycle from these traditional HD TVs to 4K televisions. These, these televisions that are twice the resolution of TVs of the last 10 years. And Samsung could, came out with a huge one last Samsung year. did, LG's, <laughs> LG's yeah. showing them, everybody, Sony, everybody has a 4K television. A lot of them are, 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 are bendable or at least curved. This is an opportunity for Apple to potentially get into the television business because there is going to be an upgrade and, cycle. And you think they will? I do think they will, but like I said, you know, they, they, they play around with a lot of things that don't ever, ever come to market. This could be one of those. So until there's actually supply chain evidence, it's really really uncertain.